Hi everyone, it's Christmas Day! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! We hope you've had everything that you wanted under your tree. We hope it's brought you some amazing whiskies that you're going to be sipping on later on, as I'm sure we are as well. We just wanted to say that you've probably seen over the last 24 days we've been doing these uh, you know, recommendation videos. And they might have been short, but they still brought some, uh, well, a lot of bloopers. So we've put together a little blooper reel for you to watch. So while you've got your feet up maybe this afternoon in your new dressing gown and slippers, you can have a laugh. It might bring a little smart to yes. your feet. <laughs> um, we also wanted to say that we are having January off from YouTube. We're going to just relax, chill out, have a bit of time for us and just get some new fresh ideas for the channel kind of written down and recording and ready to go. So we'll still be on social media. Yeah, we'll still be on social media and all of our members club and things will be happening as usual. But just YouTube, we're just taking a little break for a few weeks just to recoup and just to, uh, you know, just reconnect us. Mm -hmm. So uh, thank you for everything think this year you've made the channel double and then some in its subscribers and um, everything is going brilliantly and we can't really say any more than that really we've, can had, a blast, we've had a blast and we hope you have too so without any more ado we would like to say pour, pour it, it drink it, it enjoy, enjoy it, it. Whiskey, and he has recommended the Jameson's Stout Cascadissu. Cake, and there's some vanilla as well. You get a slight little hint of the wood, a little bit of oak. <laughs> Whiskey, and he has recommended the Jameson's Cask Make Stout Edition. But sweet and fruity. No, it's not fruity. <laughs> got a beer fan in your house that's just getting into whiskey this is a great whiskey to start with so give it a go um oh fucking hell you also get some um wood oak as well just on the finger no oh. today's recommendation is the gland <coughs> <laughs> that's a slight ad so on the palate the great glendrona i'll start that again the air with this kind of sea breeze driftwood what did I miss there say it again medium length spicy and dry yeah. so on the pot no are these under your tray I suppose it gets get oh. thanks Andy and Helen <laughs> the finish is beautiful to like a barley and fruity note. Eat peat smoke. Damp air, salty. Not damp air. Damp. The finish is very long and gentle and fades into a barley note with a bit of fruit on the end. This is a great whiskey if you're just kind of enjoying the fruits and kind of that kind of whiskey that's just a bit more relaxed. I don't even know what I'm saying. Finish is satisfying. Satisfying. On the palate, you get it. To, no. Okay. Go on. They didn't stop it. Do you want me to stop it? Yeah. Palate. If you like this, this is a bourbon. Some of you might fancy this. I waffled. Just stop. Yeah. <laughs> So the finish is fairly long and that smokiness stays around and it's just... Oh, I forgot that one. Hi, I'm Lee J. I'm a certified reader. I hope you have my... Another recommendation and this time it's actually mine. Uh, and it is the MacMira. I'm going to try this. The palate is sweet and balanced with burb... Not bourbon. Have made you think that it's something that you might like to try for a McMira fan. You know, they're always doing something different. So uh, I hope one day you. Uh, one day. Finish is satisfyingly long. Satisfyingly? <laughs> Too many hours. On the finish, that cherry note lingers on through into it with a nice smoky peaty finish as well. Finish. Finish. <laughs> <laughs> Satisfyingly. Okay, and here we have another reckoner. 
<laughs> I'm overthinking it now that I'm going to say that again. And the finish that chair <laughs> should <I> be <laughs> The finish is satisfyingly long. <laughs> it's because I have to say long. Hang on, I'm still thinking about what I'm going to say. With the peat, the smoke, and the spiciness just coming along as well, it's a it's a nice dram. So, on a massive. <laughs> when you're ready, just finish licking my hand. By one of our CEOs, Adam, and it's called. Oh, I can't remember what you said it was called. On the palate, you'll get vanilla, oak, nutmeg, and. Cinnamon. So those hang around quite good. I'm actually quite thinking this is a rubbish finish. Appetising <laughs> fruitiness. Non malt whiskey candles that have got whiskey like the Chokiski whiskey chocolate. Um, now this isn't with. Today. And today's recommendation comes from Menno. You might know him as Multimission on so social media, and he has recommended <laughs> 47. Uh, it is English whiskey and it was distilled. Is that the word I'm looking for? <laughs> the finish is sweet and salty. It is a really different finish to the rest of the kind of. Fuck me, it's so... With a lovely touch of salt just hanging around in there as well. It's a really nice finish. Uh, oh, for God's sake. Flavour hangs around. But you also get candied orid. Candied orid? So recommendation was... Was? So recommendation was... What fucking hell? On the finish. <laughs> Today we've got another recommendation for you and it has come from Peated Pete and it is the Connemara. I can't remember what it was. Smoke, honey and sweet almonds. It Was that right? Mm -hmm. oh. A touch of peat and some baking apple crumble or whatever it is. That you have had everything under your tree that you hoped for. I hope it's brought you some spanking brilliant. <laughs> spanking. <laughs> spanking. So, Lala, what whiskey do you recommend? What's your favourite whiskey? Do you not have one? You must have one. Is it Scallywag with the dog on the front? I bet it is. Yeah, Wag Waggy Tail if it is. No. What about Deanston? Do you like a Deanston? No, I don't think about it. Okay. What about Ardbeg? Do you like Ardbeg? Waggy Tail if you like Ardbeg. No. What about Lagavulin? Do you like Lagavulin? No. What about...